Hi everyone, today I'm going to be presenting on earthquake detection with deep learning. I have a background in geophysics, so I really wanted to do a data science project that used seismic signals. So the goal of this project was to build convolutional neural networks or CNNs and long short term memory networks or LSTM models to predict earthquake class, magnitude, P wave and S wave arrival times. And I also wanted to deploy the best classification model to an AWS Lambda function to predict whether or not a signal was an earthquake in real time. The use case for this is that there is a potential for faster or more reliable earthquake detection as current methods depend on non-learning algorithms. So the data set I used was 100,000 global seismic signals from the Stanford earthquake data set plus metadata. There were 34 features and about 40% of the signals were noise and about 60% were earthquake signals. Each signal was 60 seconds long. So on the right here, you can see an example earthquake waveform in black with the P wave and S wave arrivals marked here. And then the corresponding spectrogram for this earthquake. And a spectrogram is um, showing the frequency of the signal versus time. So for my CNN models, I trained and tested the CNNs on spectrograms or waveform figures, depending on the target. The waveforms are shown here, the spectrograms are shown here. Um, and the top row is example earthquake um, signals and the bottom row is example noise signals. And I used the classification CNN model for predicting earthquakes and the regression CNN for other targets. Here is the classification CNN architecture where we input the images and then there's one convolutional layer, a max pooling layer, dropout layer, flattening layer, and three dense layers. So the second type of model that I used was LSTM, and I wanted to build LSTM models to use the time series signal data to see if I could remove the need to generate images as was needed for the CNN. So the models were trained and tested on seismic envelopes instead of the raw signal data. So here is a raw earthquake waveform shown here, and the red line here shows the envelope of the raw earthquake waveform. So the classifications LSTM architecture, I input the seismic envelopes, then there was a simple RNN layer, an LSTM layer, dropout layer, another LSTM layer, and two dense layers. So for the results, here is a comparison of the confusion matrices for the CNN versus the LSTM. They both had good accuracy, precision, and recall, but the CNN was a little better with 98 to 99% accuracy, precision, and recall versus about 97%. So for the S wave arrival time prediction, here are some more results. Um, this is graphs of the predicted value versus the observed value for the CNN and for the LSTM. A perfect prediction is um, indicated by this blue line. And you can see that the mean squared error value for the CNN is um, quite a bit lower than the mean squared error value for the LSTM. So the CNN was the better model here. So overall, here is a chart of the four targets that I um, tried to predict, which was classifying earthquakes versus noise, um, predicting magnitude, P wave arrivals, and S wave arrivals. The baseline for these is shown here. And then the best CNN model results are shown here and the best LSTM model re results are shown here. And between the CNN and the LSTM, the CNN beat the LSTM in every category, including pre-processing time. It was actually faster to generate the images than it was to do the pre-processing for the LSTM. So the CNN was the best model. So to deploy this model, I containerized the model using Docker. I created an S3 bucket to store images, and I deployed a Docker image as an AWS Lambda function. To make predictions in real time, I built a pipeline to stream live data from a seismometer on Kilauea, Hawaii, shown here, because the volcano produces a lot of earthquakes. So I created an image every 15 seconds and sent this to the S3 bucket. Here's an earthquake going by on this um, slideshow of the spectrogram images. The S3 bucket triggers the Lambda function, runs the model, and predicts the image class automatically. Um, and I compared the model predictions. There's another earthquake. I compared the model predictions to USGS public website. So now I just wanted to do a brief demo of the Lambda function that I made. So you can see here, this is the USGS public earthquakes website for Hawaii. Um, and you can see that the last earthquake was at 1949.53. This is in UTC time, so this was about 12.49 PM today. And then um, here is my Amazon Cloud Watch for the Lambda function. And you can see that it's creating images and then predicting whether or not they're noise or an earthquake. Um, and you can see if I scroll down to this time, 
about 1950, 1949, it does actually predict an earthquake. Um, and then I had saved all the images, so we can also see down here um, that the earthquake does go by um, right there. So that's pretty cool because we can actually prove that our model was correct on real data by comparing it to the USGS. Um, so that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And if you would like to see more about this work or contact me, my LinkedIn is in the description of this video. Thank you.